much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, if you'd like to take your seats and settle down. Um, before we start, uh, this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Uh, for more information or to volunteer, uh, yes, thank you, thank you, uh, please visit LibriVox.org. Now, the uh, LibriVox players tonight will be performing for you a Cornish Christmas play from uh, W. Sandys, 1833. So there you go, I'll, you know, welcome them on stage and uh, have a good evening, everybody. Thank you. Cornish Christmas Play by William Sandys Enter the Turkish Knight Open your doors and let me in. I hope your favours I shall win. Whether I rise or whether I fall, I'll do my best to please you all. St. George is here and swears he will come in. And if he does, I know he'll pierce my skin. If you will not believe what I do say, let Father Christmas come in. Clear the way. Retires. Enter Father Christmas. Here come I, old Father Christmas, welcome or welcome not. I hope old Father Christmas will never be forgot. I am not come here to laugh or to jeer, but for a pocket full of money and a skin full of beer. If you will not believe what I do say, come in, King of Egypt, clear the way. Enter the King of Egypt. Here I, the King of Egypt, boldly do appear. St. George, St. George, walk in, my only son and heir. Walk in, my son, St. George, and boldly act thy part, that all the people here may see thy wondrous art. Enter St. George. All right! Here come I, St. George from Britain did I spring. I'll fight the dragon bold, my wonders to begin. I'll clip his wings, he shall not fly. I'll cut him down, or else I die. Yeah. Yeah. Enter the dragon. Oh. Who's he that seeks the dragon's blood, and calls so angry and so loud? That English dog, will he before me stand? I'll cut him down with my courageous hand. With my long teeth and scurvy jaw, of such I'd break up half a score, and stay my stomach till I'd more. Come on then, you big beast. St. George and the dragon fight. Roar! Good Lord, your breath stinks. Roar! Oh. Oh. Oh, ah, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> ah, my moustache, my eyebrows. Actually, that looks rather fetching. Uh, right. The latter is killed. Ahem. Is there a doctor to be found already near at hand to cure a deep and deadly wound to make the champion stand? Enter doctor. Oh yes, there is a doctor to be found already near at hand to cure a deep and deadly wound and make the champion stand. What can you cure? All sorts of diseases. Whatever you please is. The physic, the palsy and the gout. If the devil's in, I'll blow him out. What is your fee? Fifteen pounds, it is my fee, the money to lay down. But as to such a rogue as thee, I cure for ten pounds. I carry a little bottle of alicampane. Here, Jack, take a little of my flip-flop. Pour it down thy tip-top, rise up, and fight again. The doctor performs his cure. The fight is renewed, and the dragon again is killed. Here am I, St. George, 
that worthy champion bold, and with my sword and spear I won three crowns of gold. I fought the fiery dragon, and brought him to the slaughter. By that I won fair Sabra, the king of Egypt's daughter. Where is the man that now will me defy? I'll cut his giblets full of holes, and make his buttons fly. The Turkish Knight Advances Here come I, the Turkish Knight, come from the Turkish land to fight. I'll fight St. George, who is my foe. I'll make him yield before I go. He brags to such a high degree. He think there's none can do the like of he. There is the Turk that will before me stand. I'll cut him down with my courageous hand. The fight, the knight, is overcome, and falls on one knee. Oh, pardon me, St. George, pardon of thee I crave. Oh, pardon me this night, and I will be thy slave. No pardon shalt thou have, while I have foot to stand. So rise thee up again, and fight out sword in hand. They fight again, and the knight is killed. Father Christmas calls for the doctor, with whom the same dialogue occurs as before, and the cure is performed. Enter the giant Turpin. Here come I, the giant. Bold Turpin is my name, and all the nations round do tremble at my fame. Where'er I go, they tremble at my sight. No lord or champion long with me would fight. Here's one that dares to look thee in the face, and soon will send thee to another place. Take that! Ha 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 ha! Have at you, sir! Take that! You'll have to be quicker than that, sir! Ha ha! Not the face! Not, not the face! Oh no! Ha ha! Ouch! Ah! Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Aha! A hit! A palpable hit! Mm. Oh! Gotcha! Oh! Wah! Oh! Ha! Oh! the giant is killed, medical aid is called in as before, and the cure performed by the doctor, who then, according to the stage direction, is given a basin of gertie grout, and a kick and driven out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your sport is most ended, so prepare for the hat, which is highly commended. The hat it would speak if it had but a tongue. Come throw in your money, and think it no wrong. Narration read by Esther. The Dragon, read by Kara Schallenberg. St. George by Simon Taylor. Doctor read by Iswa. The King of Egypt, read by Matthew Walton. Turkish Knight, read by Kristen Hughes. Giant Turpin, read by Betsy Bush. Father Christmas, read by Henry Fregon. This giant is in the public domain.